Hi everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Hope you're all having a good week. Oh, sorry. Mm. Yum. This should be a good podcast because mm-hmm. we're drinking. Yes, Guinness. It is. Yum. You have to have Guinness. It's St. Patrick's mm-hmm. Day. St. Patrick's Day. You have to. Yeah. And being a redhead, token mm-hmm. Irish, not so European, much. close enough. European, drink again. Hey. The drinking game. We're in green. We're pinch proof. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, anyways, I'm Christina. And you can find me online as the Cozy Knitter. I'm on Ravelry and Instagram. And I'm Yarn Enabler Amanda. You can find me on Etsy, on Instagram, on Facebook, and now much more on Ravelry. I've been mm-hmm. um, I've been participating in our group. Yes. So go on over and join the Die Another Day podcast group. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube because yes. that's a lot of fun. Yeah, because then you'll get notified every time we uh, post a new episode. And drink. <laughs> <laughs> you really feel this year. <laughs> it's been a long March break. Oh, oh my god, my gosh. kids are home all week. <gasps> I can't. Yeah, no, I don't parent so well. I need a little bit of a liquid courage. It helps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, the kids have been home all week, mm-hmm. and we've been painting the house, prepping to move. <sighs> Mama's exhausted. Yeah. I've been up to like two dying every night because mm-hmm. I can't die with the kids around. Yeah. So, and then they're waking me up at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh my arguing about corn pops so news <laughs> or we had a box of um cereal dumped on the floor <gasps> oh that noise when you wake up set yeah everywhere it's like and then there was the apple juice it's just apple juice on the floor so sticky no it's been a mess it's been a week it's been a week it has been and speaking of this week we've had quite a few people who have said hello from their podcast so thank you um, so much first of all we want to we want to thank all of you guys who tune in every week whether you're new or you're coming back thank you so much we really appreciate it and then also there's a few other people that have mentioned us on their podcast mina from the knitting expat hi again Um, mina eric from stitch and twine uh periscoping sisters that's uh, debbie and amy and then oh debbie um tagged me on instagram for oh, what i'm doing now but i was like oh. sick in bed with this cough she's taping a podcast debbie That's yeah what she's doing right now oh i should instagram that you should and then i can say this is what i'm doing right now sorry okay, continue go ahead yeah and then i also wanted to mention that jen sheelan um she had bought some of my yarn and she actually wrote up a new pattern using the yarn no way yeah and it's a, um, it's really neat because it's not socks. Um, it's what? A, it's a you just mason, blew my mind. Mason jar cover, but I think you should check it out. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it was really ooh, nice. Ooh. What what um, colorway did she use? Patriot. Actually, that was how Patriot was born. So she asked if I could do the um, You've Been Elf colorway, which is my red and white stripes with contrasting Smile. green heels. Okay, that's going to Debbie. <laughs> okay, Deb? <laughs> Here's my what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the beer in it. Oh, jeez. We'll, we'll just pretend that it's we'll there. We'll pretend it's there. We'll Photoshop yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she asked if I could do that. So I dyed it up and sent it away. And then she knit this really beautiful mason jar cover. So it's um, red and white stripes. And then the top so is where the blue is. And she put in like an um, put eyelets in. So oh, that's cool. the stars and the candle is lit inside. And what was it called so I can look it up on uh, Ravelry? Amer- Americana Jar. I'm not sure if it's published or not. Oh, oh. well, get to publishing it. Yeah. There's mason jars to cover. Mm-hmm. It's tis the season almost. Really nice. She has a few other uh, jars. It's almost covers, strawberry jam really season. Oh, yummy. Mmm, I know. My mother in law and I make strawberry jam every I year. Know. I'm going to steal some this year. It's so good. I love strawberry jam. Oh, my God. My kids are weird. They love strawberries. Granted, only one child really eats jam. Well, he eats grape jelly, but none What's of them will. What's with your kids? None of them will even try strawberry jam, whether it's homemade or from the store. Actually, the one is very into jellies. It's not really particular what kind of jelly, just jelly. <laughs> okay, so should we talk about when? I have, have a present for you. You have a present for me. I have a present for you, yes. and you don't know what it is, and I'm so excited. It's not my birthday. No, no. but. What do you think it is? Is it a leprechaun? (laughs) No, it's not. It is your (gasps) very own mug that has your emblem on it. And I got me one, so now when we're doing our podcast, we have our moves. I don't know why mine's off-centered and yours is straight, so I'm sorry. Doesn't matter, mine's perfect. But isn't that fun? So now when we do our podcast, we have our own. Yay! And there's, I tell you, there, there's not even any stickers. Yes, me. So there so you go. Nice. Yay! So Thank happy St. Patty's Day third podcast! Yay! 
Nice. Yeah. And I had to package it in like a wool scarf too because I'm that awesome. <laughs> so I didn't break them. So yay me. So what are you working on? Oh, well, uh, same old. I this is this is pretty huge now. Ooh, mm -hmm. so I don't know what to call it other than like uh, stormy weather rainbows. I don't know what it's gonna be um, called rather, but it's nice and big now. And I'm still I've still got lots of wool left. Oh my god, I still got lots left. Oh jeez. So um, I was contemplating today taking it off these needles and putting it on like bigger needles so I could try it on because like it's hard to. Yeah, you. Can yeah. So, but I thought let's just keep going. I want to make it like epic. Like this long, I think. Um, like the three color cowl is really Yes, long. that the grocery girls are doing. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. Nice. I want it that long because it's pretty, um, it's a pretty loosey-goosey fabric. It's mm -hmm. not stiff. So I think it would sit really well like that. And then, husband socks. Oh, husband socks. I've got husband socks. I cast on my Superman socks. So I've done one stripe repeat. So the red is now coming up. So those are my Superman for my husband, and that's, that's uh, it's really just nice. plain vanilla, 64 stitches. 64? 64. Like the tiny man feet. Tiny man feet. And they're only going to be like this long. Oh, yeah, so, and look how loose my fabric is because I'm using these, I don't like them. These are the, the needles I got for free once from Knit Picks. And oh, they're the okay. Knit Picks brands. And you know what? They'd be fine. But I'm so spoiled with Addy Sock Rockets. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what size these are. I just found them in my knitting drawer. Mm, probably so, 2.5s, I think. We'll, we'll check later on something else that Christine is going to show us. I don't know size. But anywho, I'm yes. knitting husband socks too. And excuse me while I fold it onto my little... Yay! What is done? It looks so nice. I love this just stripe repeat. It looks so, so cool. The sock blocker is my size. It's the new. Sock is my husband's size. AKA we have a little extra room here. Ah. But so it's not technically done yet because I didn't do the cuff because I'm going to need to use every every inch of this ball of yarn. He's got big feet. They're only a ten and a half. They're not that big. All but, right, whatever you say. So here is sock number two. I'm totally winning, by the way. I know. Sock number two, and this is all the yarn that's left. <gasps> but because I dyed it, I know that I exactly split it in half, so it'll be exactly this size. Oh, perfect. What I don't know is perfect. how much cuff can I knit out of what will be left of this have when I have knit the heel. No, I oh. didn't weigh it first. Well, woman, why not? So I'm just going to knit the other one until it gets to the cuff and do the cuffs two at a time and knit till I run out of yarn. I like it. That's my plan. That works. But that works. He asks me every single day, can I wear them to work tomorrow? Can I wear them to work tomorrow? Posted. So I told him maybe Monday? Monday. Maybe. There's, yeah, because you know what? You only have to block those because they're just... significant amount of socks. You've done all that in a week. Yeah. And true. sock number two for your sock box. Yes. These will be going in the box. So it doesn't specify that it has to be... No. Just for socks. Just socks. I'm pretty excited about that. And there I are like my them. brand spanking new sock blockers. Ooh, let's get away with these bad boys. Mm. I saw these on um, Susan B. Anderson. She always so takes her pictures smooth. on these. A few other people use them. I think Molly has a pair. Yeah. Um, and I, I had to have them. So I ordered them so from, nice. from the Loopy U. In Speaking of which, we said, did we already say hi? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really excited about that. But they are... So this is, this is the other one, and it's one of my socks, so it will fit. It will work perfectly. It will. For socks. So when you order them, did you tell them what sock size you, you yeah. knit with, or is it like a small, medium, large kind of situation? Yeah, it is. What are you, medium? This one, these are mediums. So and they're perfect for you. I wear a seven and a half. Right. So that's perfect. So these are perfect for so me. So you would be like a large... I think I would have to order the large or the extra large mm -hmm. to get some that fit his socks. Very nice. We'll see. I, I told him I, I hope he didn't like the socks. I didn't have to knit all of that. This is driving me crazy. You need to pull this through before you drop some stitches there, lady. Because I'm uh, not going to drop stitches. There is nothing I hate more than drop stitches, ladies. It's true. I, it's true. There's been some situations I can handle them now, but I still, I just don't like seeing them there. Yeah, there was a time mm -hmm. at Nick, Nick, Nick group one night, mm -hmm. and one of our friends was going to um, stake a sweater. 
you remember that? Yes. And they were like literally teasing me with it because she was laying it on the table and she kept like scissoring mm -hmm. like the air and I was like, oh, I can't even watch. It was just traumatizing. And then just cutting the mm -hmm. wool and it was just, was I could hear the wool screaming cool. in my, yeah, it was the big, the big man sweater. It was um, the Irish cables on it. Mm -hmm. And I could hear the wool just screaming, don't cut me. And she just kept cutting and cutting, and I just but I the felt nauseous. Fine. Nauseous. The sweater is fine, and she is <coughs> almost nauseous. over it. No, I'm, I'm traumatized. Almost. So you won't no. be sticking so, anything soon. No, no, no. And then you know what they do to me if I'm sitting there with like double pointed needles, which I don't knit with often, especially like. Christina calls them uh, porcupine needles. Porcupine wrestling. Yeah, porcupine wrestling. Mm -hmm. Well, they like to come up to me and pull the needles out. So I have like, boom, drop needles. And it's... <laughs> <sighs> I have to take a deep breath. Like, remember my Lamaze breathing? I swear, one time one of us is going to get decked. <laughs> Maybe poked with a sharp needle. <laughs> I have a few of those. I'm going to keep one in my hair and just... Well, let's talk about what you do to your poor needles. I've her, had some needle casualties. Her needle, needles really need a health plan. <laughs> I should be a quality control t t uh, tester for the needle companies because I have managed to break every brand out there. I've cables, the needles yeah. themselves. Well, the cables I broke, do you know, um, it was one of my first needles. Um, uh, what was it? Chiagu? No. I think so. And yeah. It had like it's the like red a cable. wire inside of a red cable? Yeah, and wire. And I literally... Because I twist a bit with my left hand when I'm knitting, and I guess I twisted so much over time that I literally mm. shredded the metal cable. Like it, it was literally like. Ping! It was probably a work in the round project, so you're yes. not. Yeah, it was hot go. Needle. Yeah, so that was that was a casualty. I've um, I've bent my favorite pair of um, of sock rockets. Oh, mine has a bend like, in them. Yeah, mine I've um, bent. I've broken what the cords bent? off of. Um, my interchangeable, my, um, what are they called? You know, the wood ones, knitting pry, knitter's, knitter's pry. pry. Yeah, I've, I've broken three or four of those cables. I've broken my Addy cable. I've, oh, the tip fell off one of them. I don't have good luck with needles. And I don't know what I do wrong. But, so if you need a net, knitting needle tester... tester. Send them to me. I'm thinking it's time I can... to take that step to signatures. Gotta go with them. <sighs> That's my dream. I just priced out a pair of double points today. Why would you do double points though? Because if you want to I try think, them, you're going to try I double points. I think if I yeah. try signatures, then I will like them. My problem is the ones you that I what? have are too long. You already have like short ones. Knits with them, so I want to knit with them. I know. I'm taking a sock knitting class with her. And Eric. So and Eric of. of um, uh, so Stitch plus time. We are taking the at same the class at the frolic. Mm. I am Look excited. Look for the tall blonde. Yeah. yeah. And she'll pretend that she's shy. She's not, guys. Oh, my God. She's not. But no, I'm really looking forward to the frolic. Drink up. She's not quiet. Look how much I'm drunk compared to her. Yeah, so oh you're the one that's not quiet. <laughs> when am I ever quiet? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go to the Frolic this year, and I'm super excited. And I know that there's been some talk both in our group and I know in Eric's group about yeah. a meetup. Um, I hate you all, just so you know. So I don't know. We, we can't go. So if anybody is going, though, let us know if that's something you want to do, and we can either meet up in one of the areas there. Yeah. Or there was, um, in our in our group on Ravelry, someone was saying that they're going to be behind the winding table. Yes. And someone's doing raffle. Mm -hmm. And others are taking classes and just basically shopping and getting high on yarn fumes. I'm going to be in Niagara Falls. Well, that's a, a horrible place to be. You know the Hershey's stores there? I, can't, I didn't, can't eat chocolate right now. But if you want to buy it and you can bring it home, I'll eat it. <laughs> then you buy wool and bring it home for me. Okay. Fair? Okay. Jeez. Done. <laughs> Fair deal. All right. So I see some other things that followed you home. Let's see uh, Christina's guilty okay. pleasures. So because I'm doing the box of socks, Cal. Oh yeah, this only because of that. Not because you dye sock wool and you knit socks and like you, you write patterns for socks. No, no, no. Just because she's doing the box of socks. It's because I'm doing this box of socks, Cal, mm -hmm. and I actually have to knit socks that fit. And then I was knitting the ones for my husband. And there's been some hints that I should be knitting some for presents for certain in-laws. Really? Was yeah. it subtle hints or was it like... 
Here's my foot. Measure it. Something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But anyway, so I thought I would get a sock roller to, you know, make sure that I get the right measurements. But I saw this one. Somebody posted it on online somewhere, and that's how I saw it because I hadn't seen it before. Didn't you say was it Susan B. Anderson's? No. Oh, it's going to get blown out. There we go. Oh, it's so, so pretty in real life, guys. The colors are fabulous. It's wooden. It's wooden, and it's like really nice and smooth. And then this is all laser engraved. Well, this is a sticker that's put on, and this here is all laser. It's got centimeters and inches on it. Mm -hmm. And it's because we do both, go back and forth. Yeah, like, and it's got both men's and women's sizing mm -hmm. on it. So I thought that was really handy. Mm -hmm. um, so I think of being a knitter and a Canadian, like because we use centimeters up mm -hmm. here. Like I mean, the Brits. That's because we're good like that. And you know, you grew up with centimeters, but yeah. because we we communicate so much with Americans, mm -hmm. American patterns, American um, yeah. websites and stuff, we do have to be able to go back and forth a bit. Mm -hmm. And even with um, like needle sizes, we have to be able to do because yeah. we do it in millimeters, and you guys do it in size. I try to always list what I'm using in both. Yeah, I'm not as good as you about that, but I I'm always kind of aware on the back of my head what number and, and I whatnot, figure so better write it down I'm probably gonna get asked so I might as well but yeah yes. so I got this and then when I was looking in the shop and this is um it's called Rosie's Moments mm. um I think it's called Rosie's Moments and let's see yes it is called Rosie's Moments and it's on Etsy and they ship out of the UK um so I got the and they came roller. really fast too if they I came fast in about, about a week which is good and then I got this gauge well Isn't well. that neat too? And I really like that it's got the needle size measurement <coughs> things here. Excuse me. And then again, both centimeters and inches. And I realized I'm knitting this on a size four, or four millimeters rather. I didn't know because I just grabbed needles, but look, it fits. You fits. Yay. Yay. So thank you for letting mm -hmm. me use it. And then for she was sweet enough to include these sweet, really cute stitch markers. Little sheep. <laughs> Thank right you. Thank you. She sent two of them. Nice. So I'm really happy with that. Yay. So, so those, what, what's the shop name again? Rosie's Moments. Rosie's Moments. Yeah, Etsy. I'll link it in the in the information as Very well. Nice. That I link to the Etsy shop. But I really like that. Oh, and actually the um, sock blockers that I bought, they sent this little... Where's the sock blockers from again? Loopy U. Loopy U, right. And they sent this um, measuring tool. I thought that was really neat. Mm -hmm. This tea is very yummy. It is delicious. So everybody's talking about the tea that they're drinking lately. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd show um, what we're drinking that Christina made well for loved us. Jar from David's Tea. I don't know. It's if oolong. Sure. Yeah, lifelong oolong. And it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. It says here. It's um. It's got peach, apricot. That's almonds. what it is. It's peach. I taste. It's yeah. really yummy. Orange peel, safflower petals. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. So what actually? How I got this tea. Oh, was, she is a David's tea snob, I am. ladies. I have a cabinet full. My Not tea kidding. stash probably almost rivals my yarn stash. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of tea. But and she gets more than one advent calendar a year from David's tea. No, I only get one, but one every year. She's lying. Yeah. But. And you know, conveniently, our wool supplier, we just happened to drive by a David's tea Gosh. store. More than one. More than one. And last year, remember we took our youngest boys. It was so cute. Remember we that held picture? Hands. They went it was and held hand. They were each carrying their little David's bag. Yeah, it could have been an advertisement. They should pay us for that. It was, it was adorable. a very cute picture. I think it's on our our. I Instagram. think it's on Instagram. Back when I didn't have so many followers. <laughs> I could actually yeah. know who was following. I probably didn't have as many kids. Were you pregnant? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. I might have been. I don't know. Who knows? It happens so frequently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually, this tea here I got because uh, a couple Yummy. years ago, my in-laws bought me um, tea for Christmas, and I really liked Yummy. it. And then I wanted to get more, mm. but it was discontinued. So then when my father-in-law went back, they suggested that he get this tea. Mm -hmm. I like the um, the uh, birthday birthday cake birthday cake and I like there's the chocolate red velvet red velvet mm. Mm. and mother's helper that's a good one and that's non caffeinated that so that's good when you when you need that just that warmth and without mm -hmm. feeling like you're going crazy because you've already had five cups of coffee okay show us the yarn She's so got all this I, beautiful yarn over here She's like <laughs> I'm fondling it, it. So I last bet. week I showed that little sample of that purple hand spun mm -hmm. that was delicious. And so I, um, so this is the scheme that I bought to get that. 
and it's actually BFL and nylon sock wool, which I've never knit with, and I cannot wait. I don't know if we're getting the right colors, but it's just like wine, burgundy, and like a blue and a green, and it's totally all my favorite colors kind of all together, and it's from, again, Kinfolk Yarns I, on Etsy. Uh, Kinfolk Yarn and Fiber, and it is just... Oh, look at that. It's just so pretty. Huge skein, mm. and the colors oh, are just... Oh, I love when variegated are dyed like this. Yes, so it's not dyed in stripes. It's actually hand-painted, mm. so it's not going to give me a lot of... Um, Pooling. Pooling, I don't think. Well, at least it won't be continuing. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I'm going to actually make myself socks in this. You are. I am. And I don't know what pattern. Oh, it's out of Vancouver. Yeah, I told you that. She's Canadian. Oh. That's why I loved her. And she was like totally awesome. To <laughs> I know. <laughs> so that's, that's what I had to show you guys because I don't know. I don't think she's a huge dyer, but I quite love what I got. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe she's a huge dyer and I'm just totally oblivious because that's, that's happened before. Anyways, yes. so that's my one thing. And then my second thing that followed me home, I've also had for a little while, but I haven't knit with it yet. I bought it for my daughter because we all know she loves all things pink. Shebang! Isn't that just like epically awesome? I saw it and I was like, that would She's make love that. the best crocheted hat oh. ever. She is the sweetest little thing, but girlfriend oh. has... She has this fashion sense, and she just loves the hot pink. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, she can carry it off because she's blonde with a tan skin, so she can. She I can't do hot pink. I well, I try, mm -hmm. but well, she likes to wear everything pink. Yeah, head to toe pink. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this is Adela's uh, crochet cottage, and she's also on Etsy. And I found her that she bought wool for me actually, and then yeah. sometimes when I have time, I like to go visit people's shops who buy for me. And mm -hmm. um, so can you see that? She's also on Facebook. Oh, I'm covering, sorry. And so I went and checked her out and I saw this and guess what it's called? It's hilarious. It is um, Garden of Good and Evil. <laughs> so how much is that for a little girl? Like she's, she's that was a little girl who was very good. She has the determination. Like yeah. when she sets her mind to something, there is no changing it. There's really not. We have um, epic, epic food bottles with her that we've, just decide like she once when before I knew any better when she was younger I um she wouldn't eat I think it was like three peas on her plate and so I was all big mother and I said you're not leaving the table until you eat those peas and at 3 a.m. I gave in I said I can't handle it I need to go to sleep and so she just walked up to bed all like ah, ha, ha. like literally like nine hours she sat at the kitchen table no TV no nothing just I'm not eating those damn three peas oh. Anyway, so I also got an I Love Knitting badge that is going to go on my purse. Okay, sorry for the pause there. I went to get my Namaste bag because Christina said I was allowed to show it. So here's my purse, and it was my present for myself. Look how it changed the colors. I know. Um, for so finishing for my yarn orange. box wool. The, the moment I dyed the last one, we had it at night, and I went out. And, and um, they're not making them anymore, I and know. it makes me so sad because I love Namaste bags. I have two. Yeah, so this one's a nice size. It's like a messenger bag because I'm past the, the baby need a big bag, but I still need a big bag for stuff. And so it's got all the great little pockets and I just kind of went through to make sure there was nothing too obvious. And there's room for knitting and big wallets and makeup and lots of sunset glasses and pockets. Mm -hmm. Lots of pockets, little pockets, big pockets. So it makes me very happy. Very, and very you know, happy. it was so cute because when <laughs> on that knit night she goes in and she immediately sees this bag and she's <laughs> drooling over it. She's like, I want the bag, I want the bag. So then she, she has to text the husband. I'm like, what's the point? You know what he's going to say? He's going to tell you to buy the he's bag. He's the best enabler ever. He never says no. I don't think he's, he's ever said no in the time that I've known them. And no, then so she no, texts, sweetie. <laughs> so she texts and he mm. goes, of course, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so she goes out to check it and to, to buy it, which is in a separate room from where we're having our, our knit night. And then her phone goes off and it has a very distinct ringtone. Mm. So then we holler out, oh, sorry, he changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, too late. <laughs> they are like 
little lovebirds. It's like you back in high school. It's like high school kind of love. Well, he is my high school sweetheart. It's we true. started dating when I was 16, and he was a little bit older because he was a, he was an OEC and I was only in grade 11. It's so sweet. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are actually kind of cute, and he's he's a lot of fun. He's still my best friend, and I think that's why. We've been married 13 years. And he looks great into a belt. <laughs> he looks so nice. He's an electrician. <laughs> and I like the tool belt. <laughs> he knows we talk about him, too. Yeah, he doesn't watch the podcast. And I find out tonight, when I showed up to do this one, Christina's whole family watches the too. podcast. I know. Even her kids know the name. My kids they don't do. even know what a podcast <laughs> would be, let alone They'll like, be on there in the morning checking it out. <laughs> so, hi, guys. <laughs> and they're going to be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, and they're going to, like, FaceTime my kids and be like, did you know our moms did the podcast last night? And my mm -hmm. kids are going to be like, wow. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, they know because we have the Apple TV. Like, we don't have cable TV. We just do Netflix and Cables are um, show me. So we just run everything through an Apple TV box. And on there, you can also do True YouTube. Irish woman, double fisting. <laughs> <laughs> they have the YouTube so they can see it, see us on TV. They're like, mommy, yeah. you're on TV. Like, oh. Oh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> All 500 views we've had. Yeah. I know we've had we have Actually, almost not 500 subscribers. That's kind and of awesome. I just awesome. noticed today that over a thousand people watched our first episode. No way! A thousand. Oh. oh my god! A thousand people. That's, that's, that's so cool. Unbelievable. But at the same time, oh my god, we've been in like a thousand people's living rooms and. Yeah, I can imagine how annoying hashtag would be <laughs> in a thousand living rooms. So sorry, hashtag hashtag husband socks cows. Yes. So we showed <laughs> off our husband socks, and we completely forgot to mention that we're running the husband sock cow mm -hmm. in our group. Yes, and you there's can quite a few messages already. There's quite a few people who are joining us, yeah. which is exciting, and um, you can join anytime. And it doesn't have to be for your husband. It just has to be man socks. Yeah, because everybody but me is actually knitting man size. They Sorry, honey, man I love you. Socks. <laughs> the recipient has to be a adult male. <laughs> so he could be your booty call. He could be your neighbor. He could be your kid's Coworker, teacher. Doesn't matter. Coworker, father-in-law, father, -in -law, father mm -hmm. um, boyfriend. If you got a little something yeah. on the side, I don't know. Whatever. Well, it could just be a boyfriend. It doesn't have to be on the side. It could be a boyfriend. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. <laughs> Not everyone getting married at 22, you know. I was 23 by like three weeks. Oh, really? Like, you should talk. She's been married like literally two months less than me. It's so true. she's younger than I am. That's true. I get I'm married old. younger. Mm-hmm. And she has more kids, so. That's true. That <laughs> makes me really old. If it wasn't because I'm blonde, I swear this whole thing would be gray. But anywho, join the husband yeah, socks, cow. Great. We'll and see. you don't even she doesn't even dye your hair like she doesn't even streak it. Well, sometimes you've added. Sometimes a couple of years. Very ago. Actually, I was thinking about doing it. But really, you, I like so it. you see, here's here's my problem, guys, mm -hmm. and you ladies will understand this. I so I have been seeing this girl for I miss seven, you, years, mm -hmm. seven years. Seven years. I, and we live in such a small town. We do. That I didn't realize, like, I had only heard of Val from Christina, but I'd never actually seen her. Then my daughter is taking ballet lessons. I'm sitting beside another mom, and we've been talking for months. And then we finally get around to talking about what we're doing, what we do, sorry, as a, for a living. And she's like, I'm a hairdresser. I'm like, hairdresser, Val, the town we live in. Oh my God, you know, Christina. And she's it was like one of those moments. And she's the all best. The time. Yeah. She's the best. I tried. Mm -hmm. I try a lot of hair to cut a lot of hair I do. it takes forever oh my god remember when you fell down and hurt your arm and you couldn't brush your hair so she drove over to my house so i could brush her hair it's true <laughs> it's true i cannot i never <coughs> wear my hair down ever and i, I french braided your hair and it she was did. like this massive she does she knows how to do girl hair i have five boys i don't know I how to do girl hair i love hair. doing girl hair so my daughter got a star in reading the other day and i actually did like little tiny ponytails that shaped like a star and it was really cute and her, her teacher actually took a picture of it because she has like a little girl who's like a year old so she's planning ahead so i have a wedding in september can i come over and get my yes. hair done <laughs> oh, how much fun would that be no i'm not good with the hot things so like curling but i could always but you know I'm getting better because I've been doing the ballet hair, mm. hair curls and stuff. So but we've gone way off topic. Yeah. So it's because it was upsetting. husband sock knit along. <laughs> yes, the husband sock knit along. So the cast on date has 
past, but I'm not real picky. If it was cast on 2016 mm -hmm. and they weren't finished by the cast on date, which I said was March 10th, oh, then... Oh, really? Because I just did mine. I broke well, the rules. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cast but if now. they're cast on in 2016 and not yeah. finished by the date that we started the Cal, so March 10th, mm. then you qualify for the Cal Game as on. long as they're finished by May 10th. All right, all okay, right, honey, all you right. Gotta qualify. Yeah. <laughs> and <Switching> um, the <laughs> so I'll be honest, this man sock is a whole lot of knitting. So and she I, keeps tweaking that, and I keep telling her she's being dirty, and she keeps saying that's the beer talking, and I keep saying yeah. So anyway, <laughs> a whole lot of knitting, you are absolutely allowed to double dip. So I'm going to double <laughs> double dip into the <laughs> <laughs> Box of socks, Cal. <laughs> oh god, now I said box. <laughs> you can tell it's late. Oh, we're very it's clearly Friday. drinking. This is just going. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for the cough, guys, honestly. So I'm going to enter Ooh. these into Kristen's Cal as well. Uh, and also Jilly's um, sock club. So she's the knitting broomstick. So she has a sock club. Ooh. Sock club Cal that uh, I think it runs all year. Hi, Jilly. I know, and Jilly sent me such a sweet message. She did, Thank I you know. so much, Jilly. That was so nice I'm, of you. We've been getting a lot of really sweet, supportive mm -hmm. messages, and you guys, thank so you. Nice. thank you. It's, has, seeing the positive um, messages is really nice. Although, <laughs> well, I can't remember her name, but she wrote um, a message on the bottom of the other one, and she's like, and Amanda, shut up! And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> and, then, and then it was like, shut up, and, and, and I, I can't believe she who messaged you are. Me. She's up, like, kind of um, what does she mean by yeah. that? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I think she meant it in the, oh my god, I can't believe you're the one who actually dyed my yarn. So we read the messages. Now, Christina hasn't trusted me with the password yet no. for YouTube, so I have to reply back as, like, me, not as <laughs> dyed <I> every day. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I haven't asked for it, so. That's true, too. It's okay. I can set you up with it before you leave. No, I'm good. Okay. You're so much better at this stuff than I am. I am I'm a very in the oh. moment, really good. But remembering and following through. No I have way. to say, We're last sorry. week when I was doing the upload for last week's episode. Oh, yeah, I thought I you were going to cry. I, I, just I seriously did. thought she was going to cry. I, I was worried I was going to bring over like some like liquor. Mm, that I was. Been nice. I but it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because I used to work in technology, mm -hmm. I, I used to be on a technical help that's yep. doing all the knowledge management for it. And I'm like, why can I not get this file to upload? It and took we thought me, it had deleted. Oh, there was that too. Oh. It took me almost 20 trash. hours to get that online. And then yeah. I came to find out that quite a few people were having issues with it. And it was just a YouTube problem, apparently. I, I don't even know. But it's up. Episode 2 is up, so. I should hope so. It has like 500 views. I know. We're moving on Woo. from that. It was upsetting at the time. Now I'm, I'm getting Now over. we're drinking, so it's all good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So you want to do your shout out? At shout out. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we mentioned last week that while we're doing our yarn prep, so I do a lot of warping. That takes me two hours. to three hours every day. At least. Every day I spend two to three hours Oh, yeah. I spend like yarn. four hours a day warping. Yeah, for self-striping yarn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, during that time, I like to watch podcasts. Mm -hmm. So this week, uh, in addition to the ones that I've already mentioned, I also tuned into the Adelaide Cottage which is with Shauna. And she's I actually, haven't seen that yet. It is really nice. Really nice. I yeah. think she's only got about maybe a dozen episodes out. I'm going to put her on my um, thing right now. And she is really sweet. I really enjoy her podcast. And she. I'm going to watch you. She does. Um, she that dies. That sounded really scary, actually. I'm coming for you. <laughs> she's one of the creepers. Oh my God, I'm a stalker. <laughs> Holy um, cannoli. But she does uh, project bags and stitch markers and dyes her own yarn. And she's got two little kids. Um, but I really enjoyed that one this week. Um, I think I, I, I watched it before, but I watched this week's episode and then a couple of back episodes to catch up. Um, so Kristen. Kristen. Oh my God. Yeah. I watch Kristen every time it comes out. Kristen yeah. It's awesome. Um, and then, a new and you know one. what? I, I can, I like following her because she's very descriptive in what she's saying. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you can be busy doing something else and still have her in your head. Yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have to, watch to be watching. Constantly. Yeah. Which is kind of yeah. nice. I like that. I like when Bella visits. Yeah, me too. And then a new one to me was the uh, Get Lit and Knit podcast. Yeah, I love it. 
Um, tell about the mugs. Tell about the mugs. It's not where I got my idea because my idea looks totally lame now. <laughs> They've got these awesome mugs. <laughs> I need to buy them. And one says, so they're coffee mugs, like plain white coffee mugs. And one says, this might be wine. And the other says, this might be bourbon. But they're two uh, young girls, uh, college students uh, from Chicago. One is in... I love Chicago. <gasps> Remember our road oh, trip? Our road trip. Oh my god, it was uh, such an epic road trip. From um, I think we've talked about it before. We went to I meet, think we mentioned it briefly. Like, these people we had never met before. They're only online, and we stayed mm-hmm. at her house. And it was so much fun. And there was a girl from Texas, and another girl came California. from... California. California. And then where did Jenny uh, come Arizona. from? Arizona. No, was she Arizona? I thought she was, like, Midwestern... I'm pretty sure it was Arizona. Okay, well, anyway. So remember. we all, like, converged on, mm-hmm. on Heidi's house in we Chicago. Did. And it was And so her much husband fun. was like, what? And Heidi... <laughs> I didn't see him a whole lot. No, he ran away, but I don't blame him. Mike was his name, Mike. if I remember correctly. How did is, I know that? They're still married. <laughs> is, yes, sorry. And um, and she was also newly pregnant, same as I. I. We were and both three months pregnant. the really funny thing <gasps> is, so I was working was at really the cool. time. So yeah. in the morning, I get a message from, I think, did you have your baby first? Um, By like an hour. I yeah, get a message from Amanda saying, day. oh, I had the baby. And yeah. then like an hour later, I got a message from Heidi. I had the baby. I'm like, oh my God, you both yeah. have babies. So our I don't boys think you guys are birthday twins. You guys no, because that was back before everybody had internet on their yeah. phones. Mm-hmm. This is like 2006. <laughs> I, I think I had a flip phone. I'm pretty sure I had a flip phone. Age. Yeah, and it was like the horrible camera and everything. Yeah. But yeah, so. Um, that was so fun. Yeah, so our boys are still birthday. That was so fun. I remember going down to the pier. We, then, yeah, we didn't go on the water taxi, but really we did the... really amazing lunch. I remember that. Yeah, but I don't remember where I, we were, but it, it wasn't was far really from the pier. <laughs> Just walking in Chicago. You know what? Like we the, should the have gone to nice. Chicago because they dyed the river green. <gasps> did you guys really? Yes, I was Is reading about it today. So, once upon a time, it was a chemical river? something to try and figure out where there was a, a, where um, waste was leaking into the river. Ew. And then they decided that probably... Yummy that chemical was more harmful to the river than the waste. So now, <laughs> now they have changed it to, I believe it was a vegetable something other guy. I, I think I've seen that on Facebook or something. And, and now... Send me a picture. If you're in Chicago, send me a picture of the river. That's that green. Really fun. We are going to have to go kids. there one day for St. Patrick's Day. We would have, yeah. No kids, no husband. Mm-hmm. Let's drive again. So if oh, you yeah, haven't so already, you've got to check out their podcast. It's really yeah. fun. And it was Wait, called... Wait, who was the podcast? Oh, yes. Get yeah. Lit and Knit. Get Lit and Knit. With Abby and Allie. Don't lit, don't so, knit, knit lace, though, while you're lit. <laughs> and one is a pre-med student, and the other one's applying to law school. Smarty mm-hmm. pants! Way to go, girls! Nice. Nice. Um, and then also, this week, I watched a really special episode, because it was an episode with Mina... And Danny of Little Bobbins. Yes. They did their episode together because oh. they are at a retreat. Retreat! And it is by Curious Handmaids um, that are hosting the retreat in England. Nice. And it well, sounds so, so much fun. They rented this um, country house and then they're all staying there and they got all... How much fun would that up. be to hang out with all of these knitters? It would be like... I was a little jealous because I was on yeah. this... Um, Instagram she posted a picture and it was a picture of her door and it says Mina and then oh now the name just slipped my mind what's her name of the wool barn Maya Mm -hmm. Maya of the wool barn they're sharing a room I think I might have stolen her luggage and ran Ah! have you seen the wool barn sharing no so pretty is it anything like the luggage from the sweater lady because hello yeah I Mm. wanted to steal it because and see Part of it is I've seen quite a few people that have knit socks using the, the wool barn yarn and she's got a really nice tweed. Well now I'm gonna go to her website and have to buy some. I know. Well I tried, but she didn't have an update this week because she was going to the retreat. So I and I messaged me now on Instagram and I said I really hope there's some of that. There was she posted a picture of the marketplace. I need some in a, a green or blue. I'm, I'm were, not picky. I'm were, not picky. Orange. There was a pink. pale pink. There was a really pale I pink. I do and it pink. Was so pretty. You know what? Yeah. I don't think there's a color I wouldn't do. Yeah. Um, well, not plain brown. But I'm not good with neon. Oh, I would totally do neon. And she I would, would do totally brown. do chocolate <laughs> Done! Oh, let's try and get some. I want to get some of Maya's yarn. I'm going to try it when she does her next How, update. If you've tried some, leave a message. Tell mm. us what you think. Because yeah. now we're going to be stalking it. But it was, it yeah. was a lot of fun. I just thought... You know what would be so much fun? So we've talked before about our, our girlfriends, Jen and Shauna Yarn, therapist, and so we say, 
And we need to plan yeah. a cottage getaway for the fall. And we'll squish on his baby. That will be a lot of fun. Yeah, she'll have a little baby. Yeah, and it won't be ours. And we can it hand won't it be back. Ours. Although when she we, we I were just talking about the retreat, <laughs> and she's like, and then it's okay because the baby will still be little. And I went, baby, not happening. <laughs> not connecting not in the dots happening. in my head. Months away from being diaper free. <laughs> diaper freeze alive. We'll bring the baby and we'll hold the baby. And she can feed the baby. That's fine. But we'll hold yeah, the baby we'll hold the, the rest baby, of the time. Cuddle the baby. Squish the baby. I know. We Sniff need to do the baby. That. Oh, the baby smell. Mm. A nice retreat. That could be so much Yeah, fun. let's do it. A so lot of wool. Fun. A lot of sleeping. A lot of alcohol. Shauna can be the adult. Maybe there'll be a hot tub. Knitting in the hot tub. I thought we were going to see a hot guy. And I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Too well to Rudy. <laughs> okay, I was thinking a hot tub with some sort of floating device nice that the yarn can stay in. Ooh, we I could take a break from yarn. Our to other a friend hot tub. Jen actually has a hot tub, and she did that. She had some sort of floating thing in her hot tub, and she was sitting did in it. Did she really? <laughs> Jen, Jen, um, Jen, Jen. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've never been invited for a hot tub, lady. I see you at school every day. I know. We're gonna crash her house one of these yes, days. Yes, we will. Let's do that. <clears throat> She's a cop, though, so I'm kind of scared of crashing her house. <laughs> I don't think they bring their guns home. Dude, you have to go there. I was just thinking, like, <laughs> nightstick, and you bring out the big guns. Jeez. I'm so Canadian, I don't even think the police officers have guns. <laughs> oh. Well, speaking of which, I went to my school the other day, and first, first there was two cruisers parked in front of the school. I'm like, oh, oh, what's going on at the school? And then the school actually called me later, and I'm a little freaked out because of the police activity. And then I, and they're just, oh, you, you know, your kid wasn't, or no, actually, somebody didn't have other lunch, so I have to bring them a lunch, which was his own fault because he left it at home. And I even asked him if he had it before he left the house. But anywho, I was a nice mom, brought him his lunch, and as we're standing there, a canine officer comes in. I'm like, oh my god, what's going on here today? Oh no, crazy in the school. That's crazy. awesome. Crazy. That's always fun, though. Mm-hmm. So, what do you do while you're warping your yarn? I um. What are you watching? I watch podcasts, but I'm mostly a Netflix girl right now because you know what? The the fourth season of House of Cards came out, oh, so I have to rewatch that. the first three seasons, mm. and so I'm almost done season three right now. Um, I mean, I can't watch that when the kids are around, but last week, that's what I was watching. So I'm almost done season three, so I can get to the good stuff. I'm I should have done it earlier, but I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> I'm almost done Scandal, so I need to watch a new show. But then, I was, but then I was thinking Scott Foley, who's in Scandal, he used to be in Felicity. So maybe I should rewatch Felicity. I don't know if it's on it Netflix. Is. Really? It's either on Netflix or show me. I don't know. One of them. I, I saw it on me. there. I haven't looked, but you know what? I've watched pretty much. I, I was. I'm almost at the end of Netflix. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Just of any miles to I, go. I won't do Maybe. Full House. I can't do it. No? I can't do it. I used to watch it when I was a kid. No, I'm no. Watch Fuller House. No, I've and I've done like Grey's Anatomy, and I've done yeah. Friends, and I've done Good Wife, and I've done. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, you name it, and I've watched, like, the good episodes. I remember we both started watching Bones around the same time. Oh, I loved I, Bones. And I was in, like, season two, barely, yeah. and she's, like, way off in season nine. That's because like, that's all I do while I warp, what? and I warp for hours and hours and See, hours a day. Part of that was because that was the, the show that I watched with my husband, so I was only allowed to watch it when he was home. Well, not allowed, but I waited for him. My husband sleeps on the couch, so I can watch whatever I want. That's true. <laughs> that's true. See... We have this this system where we sit down and we start to watch something, and then we yeah. watch an episode. My husband falls asleep. I watch another one or two episodes. So then the next night yeah. we rewatch the episode. Mm-hmm. So he fell asleep during then because I feel like I need you know, I wanted new material. Mm-hmm. I watch another episode, which we then rewatch the next day. See, oh, I couldn't live like that. No, see, we have a one that we watch together right now. We're watching the one hundred, mm-hmm. and it's really good. But he keeps mm-hmm. falling asleep before we can watch more. So I feel like I need. I need to watch what happens next because I don't know. But he keeps falling asleep, which I can't blame him. He gets up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm up until like 2, so we don't synchronize our sleeping very well. But tonight I'm going to bed because holy smokes, I'm tired. I wrote on Ravelry that I had a bad night last night. And I did. Um, like not going to bed till 2. And then I couldn't quite fall asleep because oh, it was windy was and kind of rainy. And then my youngest woke up and... Then I had to get him settled again in bed, and then, and then by then it's like three thirty, and then Rob's getting up in half an hour, and then my big kids are up, and yeah. it was just one of those nights where I just couldn't settle, and I slept great. Three of my kids were at grandma's. I'm so jealous. 
<laughs> that was me Sunday night, though. That's true. So I had I had my good night's sleep, but last mm-hmm. night, a lot of people on the Yarn Box Ravelry page were talking about last night being bad. So, oh yeah, and I'm trying to write the pattern for toe up, and my brain is not functioning. I have to move the stitch marker from the side of the foot to the middle of the front of the foot without messing up the pattern. And obviously it's doable because I did it for like the top down. Like literally I did it the opposite, mm-hmm. but I can't do it. So I have these test knitters who are amazing and they've gotten to the transition part where you go from foot and they knit their heel and then the, the ribs kind of swoop around before they start doing mm-hmm. the twirl. And I'm like, okay, listen people, I'm sorry, my brain sucks. This is what we have to do. Mm-hmm. So knit this, and then we're gonna figure out how to. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's gonna be the simplest. Someone's gonna be like, just do X Y Z, and then I'll yeah. be like, huh. oh. So, you know what? I'd it rather happens. write a brand new <laughs> pattern than try and compose one know, from toe up to cuff down. Because yeah, you try and make them exactly the same. Yeah. Where a lot of the times I write the pattern as I'm literally knitting it. Yeah. So I'm very visual. I so I see exactly as I'm doing it. I'm writing it down. Mm-hmm. So it it, it kind of just happens I organically. Was, right? Remember, I was trying to do that um, when we went away. Was it two years ago that we went away for the weekend? Mm-hmm. Three years. I can't. Yeah, the monkey. monkey. The monkey socks. socks. I tried to reverse engineer them because it's yeah. a. It's a cuff down pattern, yeah. and I, I don't know, have it in my mind that I can only knit two up. Well, you tried them cuff down. I tried cuff down. And she down. knit like this much, and then she tried to put it on her foot, and she couldn't even get it over her heel, let alone yeah. like on your foot. So those were ripped back. <sighs> they were. I Live know. stitches ripping back is fine. Live stitches tinking, I can handle that. I tinked. The dropping stitches? The dropping stitches. The dropping needles. Dropping needles, dropping mm-hmm. stitches. But remember that um, <coughs> that shawl or wrap that you made? Yes. Where you had to intentionally it? do it. Um, what was it called? No. Hmm. Aphrodite. No. Yeah. And it's it's a crescent shape, and you knit it from point to point, mm-hmm. and then as you're growing it, like you're, it's a kind of ribbed, and then you drop the stitches, yeah. and then you have to literally like pull it all the way down, and you start further down. And you start with a yarn over so that the drop stitch actually eventually right there, back up. Augustine Chalette. Augustine. Sorry, yeah. we were looking that up on Ravelry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you have to literally on purpose drop it. And I remember the first time thinking, oh, please let this stop be the right stitch. To. And stop where you're supposed to. And, and I was knitting it for um, my son's teacher. Didn't you make two of them? Yes. So I don't remember one. who I made the second one for. Mm, no maybe no but I made it out of that bamboo um, that I really like but it it really affects my gauge mm. so this thing ended up yeah, being slippery. like six huge. feet long it was huge and bamboo takes forever to dry like like three times that of mm. wool it was it was pretty crazy so but every year I knit my son's teacher or my kids both of them my daughter and my son's teachers um so nice. Some some kind of shawl neck wrappy. I did one thing. year. I made three one year for teachers. <clears throat> yeah, I think you and I started doing it the same mm-hmm. year. Yeah, so I've done I've done a Cladonia. I've done two Cladonias. Mm-hmm. I've done two Augustines. I've done um, last year. I did the sea glass, and I did. Do you remember papaya? I did the papaya oh, yes. shawl. That's really like that one. By um, by Tannis Lavely. Yeah, love her patterns. I almost I brought love my um, yarn. That was the first real mm, indie, indie dyed yarn yeah. that I worked with. Well, except for Malabrigo, but I don't know if they count anymore. Mm. But, but do you remember the first time I met Tannis? It was at the Frolic. And mm-hmm. I was so fangirled out, I couldn't even make eye contact. And she's standing there just kind of like talking yeah, to no people. Big no big deal. And just like randomly like. Mm-hmm. And then at one point she wasn't talking to anybody. And I was like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, was Julie there? No, it was, she no. wasn't there that year. And then we saw her again at um, the Purple the Pearl, Pearl, Pearl downtown we went. Toronto. We went just because she was going to be there. Yeah. And I totally had another, like, <laughs> fangirl yeah. moment. It was and really fun. It was Tannis, one... if ever you watch this, I'm sorry I'm normal. Honest to God, I'm normal. I just fangirl. Complete fangirl. It's true. It's true. I'm a little... And Julie, we fangirled over Julie. Oh, we did. Mm. 
We did. Can you imagine if so we ever fun. met Yarn Harlot? I'm going to. Well, no, no, no. I know, but we've been in a class oh, with yeah. Yarn Harlot, but I mean, like, actually sit down. Face to face. Face to face. to her. I don't, I don't think I could string, like, three words together. Um, I think cringe. I would, like, expire on the spot. Like, that's I the know. Yarn Harlot. It was like when we went to the, the Pluggy Knitter Shindig. There was quite a few. Oh, my God. Don't remind me. Knitterati remember, there. there was, remember what happened? <laughs> so they had this. Was I am it, such an idiot. I don't know if it was a Friday night, the side of the night. I forget now. Oh but they had a, a cocktail thing and there was. Um, I was totally being cool and I was. There was like a cocktail hour yeah. and then there was, what's it called? Karaoke night. Karaoke night. And anyway, so I have knit, I have knit samples for them before. So, so she knows them. I yeah. know some of the people. I know some of their faces yeah. and we're talking to different people. And, and I'm totally just, I we're know. having a conversation, yeah, great conversation with Sarah, the dyer of. The actual dyer. Of Plucky. I have no idea. And. I know who she is. And I Amy know. Miller. And Amy Miller, oh my god, Amy Miller! I think Amy you're... Miller, and I'm just totally shooting the breeze with her, like, I have no clue, this is Amy Miller! Even though she introduced herself, and I'm like, oh hey, Amy, how's it going, blah blah blah. I walk away, I'm like, who's that? was so funny. And she looked at me like I had five heads, people. <laughs> and she's like, Amy Miller, and I was like, yeah. She's like, think for a minute, and I was like, oh. <laughs> And I kind of like I'm had to evil. go in the corner and compose myself. <laughs> <laughs> but then we did karaoke and it was all good. No, you guys. <laughs> they said they were going to karaoke with me. And all of a sudden, it's me with like a whole bunch of people. Backup, just backup singers. singers. And, and dancers. There's a bunch of <laughs> I was drunk, so it was okay. It was, I, it was um, I don't even remember the song. Uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift, um... <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it was Taylor Swift. You know what? That song is special to me. Shake it off. You know why that song's special to me? So when I first started dying, a couple months in, I got a bad review somehow. Like, somebody wasn't happy, and and I felt I have a very thin skin, so mm -hmm. I take criticism very difficult. Like, it's it really bothers me. I'm getting better, but at the time. And so I was on, like, our face group. We have, like, a, a sticks and balls face... <laughs> <laughs> sticks and balls Facebook group with like needles and with props. yeah with um our two friends and I was like guys it's so horrible and blah 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 and she sends me the link to the song that I'd never heard before and because it, it was brand new right then mm -hmm. and I pulled it up and it was shake it off and it was just it, it was exactly it what works. I needed to hear at that time and my daughter fell in love with it. That's her jam now. Well, it's got the ballerinas in it, too. Yeah, well, that's that's why it's her jam, because mm -hmm. she's all about the dancing, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that song's totally... That's the song we did. Yeah, that so was that a was... That was a fun night. That was a fun night. And then I knit till 2 in the morning. She's crazy! I slept. Well, you had to go up and call your husband and do your little cutesy thing. <laughs> you would miss him. The rest of us were like, woohoo! <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say he's like, other than you, he's my best friend. I tell him everything. That's true. He makes fun of me sometimes, but not usually. He's usually pretty understanding and he's very laid back. He, yeah. I need a laid back husband because I'm a little... No, I'm normal. <laughs> She's a redhead. I'm a redhead. I'm <laughs> Irish. Once removed. <laughs> yeah, we really need to make this retreat thing happen. That could be so much yes. fun. Yes. We should... You know what? I think we should do a get-together in Toronto. Yes. Even if it's at like the Purple Pearl, or even if it's just at some random cafe restaurant cafe, um, we're on the outside outside of outskirts of Toronto, so we're we don't on really the know. Side. And we're moms, so we don't ever leave the house very much. So Speak for if yourself, you, I have all day to myself now. I don't ever leave the house. <laughs> soon, soon, two more. Yeah, school. I just go to the gym and go home, so I'm not exactly I that know. much fun. But if anybody knows of a cafe or some sort of of course, a little place that we can uh, hang out and knit. And yeah, let us know and we'll make a get together. Yeah. That could be mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. That could be fun. So I totally interrupted your whole um, podcast thing. But uh, are you, are we good? I think I'm good. All right. Yeah. Well, I think I've talked about everything that I brought the today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to mention one more thing. <gasps> yes. So my socks. I need opinions. So this is my Blue Jays inspired colorway. Yeah. And it has been really popular. Like really. Who knew baseball so, was such a thing? I Who knew the Jays were such a thing? We're all serious tickets over here at least. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's men with pieces of wood and a stuffed 
bow and there's not even fights. I'll smack her off. <laughs> so, anyways, this is my Blue Jay Sharon. It's been really popular. So I guess this is kind of shop update-ish. I just um, I added to the shop an alternate option for Ooh, this yarn. What? That you can because usually my yarn is um, 115 grams, and the mini is taken from that 100. So it's usually around 30 for the mini and 85 for the stripes. Same but point. because yeah. baseball is such a man thing. Or a lot of males mm. or fans of baseball, they want socks that also fit them. So I now have the option that you can get the full 115 grams in the stripes and then Ooh. still with a 30 gram mini. So there's obviously a price Let's difference, see. but there, that's an option now. So you can make socks nice. because ten, yeah. uh, the size 10 and a half is about the biggest you can go with with my normal mm -hmm. yarn size or our normal mm -hmm. skein size. So I've added Even that Even that's pushing it. Yeah, this I'll yeah. literally use every yeah. inch to get a ten and a half. Yeah. Um, so I'm adding that option to the shop, and also I have had so many requests for different teams. Now there's What's the most common team. Well, there's there's a bit of a problem with this uh -oh. because the Jays play in the AL East. My husband is the skein winder. She's talking. To he's me. he's a little upset about possibly having to reskein other AL East team yarn. He's not that much of a company man, is he? Oh. <laughs> Better hope so he didn't like hear he, that. he wouldn't do. What are some other teams? The Yankees. Yankees. Well, I don't. Isn't there one in Boston? He... Is there one in Boston? Boston, like, Boston no. This. Bruins is hockey. Boston Orioles, no. Let's see how long it takes her to figure that out. Those of you who see the irony here, <laughs> Boston Celtics, no, they're Boston. No. Boston. Wait, didn't Babe Ruth play for a team? <laughs> Maybe New York? There was some kind of... Oh, I'll, He's I don't a very know. iconic player. He did play for a team. <laughs> the Boston... So, no, I said that. Measuring tapes? <laughs> <laughs> Red socks. <laughs> oh, okay. I heard that then. Okay. I got oh, it. I got man. it. So what are their colors? Red and... Navy. And white. Oh, so you can just trade that out. Why would he not want to do that? It's a thing. But anyways, <sighs> I if yeah, if anybody wants their team colors dyed up, let me know. And um, don't hate me because I will I'm maybe just put you know three D glasses on him so he doesn't know what color he's rescaling. And how might will he know? Be, just tell um, him what to do. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll have to rescale it myself. <laughs> Yeah, right. It might make me. No. But yes, I'm really excited about it. I love how this knit up. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to knit up, but I really like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice. Very nice. And I'm working on a list of people who have sent us really nice messages. Yes. And um, other for podcasts. The for die our, off. For the die off. Um, we were talking, we have narrowed it down to a picture, which I we've, think we're going to keep a secret. We found the picture that we're going to yeah. do the die off on. So we'll do that for next week. Yes. I hope that we maybe can do this like once a month or every let's couple of weeks. Let's do it once weeks. a month. Right. Let's I think do. that could be fun. So we'll, yeah. we'll maybe open a thread on, on Ravelry specifically for die-off nominations. And you can just post your pictures you in did. there. You did. You did. Well, that was the episode. Oh. But, uh, an episode thread. But I'll do a specific one yes. for die-off nominations. And then anytime you see a picture that you would like to see. And suggest people we can challenge. Because the first yes. one will be just us. But then for April... Let's I'm thinking of this girl. <gasps> are you guys up for it? We totally are challenging you. Mm -hmm. Boom! There it is. <laughs> Do a die, die off. off. I think they should get to choose the picture, though. The challengee should get so to we'll choose. So we'll do this one, and you guys can... Yeah. Can I sell, think and then we'll what see would be really fun is we each take little tiny videos of us dying that you can, mm -hmm. like, into the video. I might drop the camera in the pot. You have kids. Safe labor. Try I'm going to use mine. <laughs> Kids are not that reliable. It's <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I hope you guys are having a fun week. Mm -hmm. um, hope you had a beer. Hope you had a beer with us. Green beer. And I hope you're wearing green because otherwise you're, you're not pinch pinched. proofed. So mm -hmm. we'll see you next week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And keep knitting. Bye, guys.